All right, welcome back to OD5. Showing you where fiddler crabs come from. This is a marshy area. And you can see as I'm walking, they're scampering. And they're going back into these little holes that you see all along the ground here. So if you come out and you're trying to get your own fiddler crabs, you just come out and bring yourself a little shovel. Be ready to move a little quick. And um, I imagine you can get yourself some. You see here are two trying to squeeze into one hole. Not working out too well. See there? Trying to squeeze into one hole. I'm right up on him. So if I was actually trying to get fiddler crabs today, he's exposed. You can see that. You can see they're all along this area here. All along the ground. So you can see the bigger area looks like this. And during high tide, this area is covered with water. And the fiddler crabs, they just hang out right here on the edge. So I imagine that because of where they live, that's how the black drum the sheephead and all the different varieties of fish that like them I imagine that's how they developed an appetite for them because you can see they're right here at the water's edge alright so this is a little fiddler crab information for you so if you are again in the tidewater area and you decide to fish with some fiddler crabs if you want to be a little adventurous and come out and see if you can get your own then you might just be successful because sometimes like this guy right here they can be real ornery you see how he has that big claw he's not even scared of me he's not even running you know so if I was like like I said trying to fish with them today be very easy and these are not the most inexpensive bait you know so again just want you to see what it looks like they're like roaches out here. <laughs> so really, uh, I could get a nice little bunch of them real quick without too much fuss. So just a little bit of information from me to you. OD5 out. Be kind to the fish.